first asked the Prime Minister and others to tell me, on the day he stands in front of, um, you know, the lunch I attended up at Parliament and says, you know, Julia Goward and I are very excited. We've established a new protocol for telecom, for, sorry, for bigger pardon, for business investment in New Zealand. It makes it easier for Australian companies to invest. His telco minister that afternoon went and tabled a supplementary order paper with the potential to destroy a good amount of the $2 billion of investment. Without constant consultation and quite unannounced, two pieces of legislation were tabled in Parliament uh, and done in such a way that you really had to be looking out for it to understand what was going on. The first piece was a piece of legislation called the Ultrafast Broadband Bill. Um, and in itself that was a little concerning, but you would have said, well, maybe we could live with that. Uh, but then the second, the killer piece, was tabled um, after Christmas, well, uh, um, during Australian Prime Minister's visit, actually, called the Supplementary Order Paper for the Separation of Telecom. And those two bills together take us back 20 years to the days of the old telecom monopoly. Is the proposed ultra-fast broadband bill fair to New Zealanders? Would you play a game of rugby where one side has 15 players, the other three? and there's no referee? Or what about a game of netball with one hoop just a metre high and the other all the way up there? And still no umpire. Without a level playing field, this bill could limit your choices and hit you in the pocket. Our shareholders will say it's the market we want to be in. Eventually something has to go. I have said to Mr Joyce, if you want a third world telco system, this is what you're going to get. Not next year, not the year after, 10 years time, 15 years time, um, there will be a movement of capital. It's outrageous in, in many respects.